friends welcome to my channel tech and art so guys today's session i'm going to discuss about the database mirroring mechanism in a last session i have covered the database mirroring setup how to do the database mirroring setup for the synchronous and asynchronous i will provide the links on description please go and watch so in this session i will i will go to i'm going to discuss about uh, how the database mirroring working internally okay so before starting the session uh, whoever new on my channel please do likes and subscribe thank you so let's start the today session so i have designed pretty much good this diagram to make the understanding for database mirroring uh, internal mechanism okay so as we all aware in a database mirroring we have a principal server and mirror server where we have a principal database and mirror database so what is the mirror database as we all aware uh, the mirror database is the exact copy of a principal database okay the same copy of a database right and we have here witness server so use of the witness server uh, you know uh, to monitoring the health of the principal and mirror server so whenever the principal health is not good uh, so witness will tell to the mirror server okay uh, start behaving like a principal okay so the, this is the functionality for the witness server to do the continuous monitoring for the principal and mirror here we have the application server okay now <coughs> we'll see the complete flow uh, how the request is coming from the application server to principal and how uh, the logs is moving from the principal to mirror server so if you focus this diagram uh, so here from the application server whenever the you know request is processing to the principal database okay so on a principal server we uh, have a log buffer so log buffer basically uh, playing a classical role here you know it will write, it is writing a log in a log file on a principal database and at the same time sending a copy of log to you know mirror database on a mirror server uh, log buffer on the same uh, through the same way it will write a log to log file and once the uh, log file writing is done it's sending a ack signal to principal server log buffer okay once the log buffer is got in getting uh, got the ack signal acknowledgement signal it will tell to the application server now you can process the further request so here uh, we need to uh, give a more focus uh, because uh, you know uh, once the log buffer is getting the ack signal from the mirror server then only it will allow the application server to you know do the further request okay so that's the reason we are uh, saying uh, we are uh, saying here it's a synchronous and high safety right so this setup basically i designed for the you know synchronous which called high safety why high safety because as we can see here uh, without getting the ack signal uh, you know uh, from the mirror server it's not allowing to further process you know to application server okay if you assume uh, here in the same diagram we are configure the database mirroring for the asynchronous then how it's working in the same way in a asynchronous setup also application server whenever processing the request to the you know principal database the same way log buffer will write a log to log file on a principal server principal database and at the same time it will send a copy of log to mirror server and mirror server will write a log to you know log file but here the principal server will not wait for the ack signal from the mirror server it will allow the further request from the application side the these log buffer is you know uh, least bother about the ack signal in case of asynchronous setup so that's the reason uh, you know we are uh, saying uh, you know uh, asynchronous as a highest performance not high safety synchronous we called as a high safety and asynchronous is a highest performance right so according to use you can set up your database mirroring right so in asynchronous there is a chance for the data loss also or your you know uh, because here we are not getting the ack signal and without getting the ack signal we are processing the further request okay so this mm, this way internally the database mirroring is working uh, getting the request from the principal to mirror 
uh, application to principal and from principal to mirror log is moving internally. So, let me summarize uh, again <coughs> how it is happening. Whenever the application server is processing the request to mirror server, you know on a mirror server log buffer is playing the classical role, it is writing a log in a log file and at the same time it is sending a copy of log to mirror server and on a mirror server log buffer will write a log to log file and it will revert it will get back to uh, ACK signal to principal server log buffer. Once the log buffer is getting the ACK signal from the mirror server, it will allow to application server to continue with the further request, right. So, this how the you know database mirroring is uh, working internally. In a last session, I have covered uh, you know uh, the live demo for the database mirroring setup. Uh, how to configure the database mirroring step by step. I have did the live demo for the database mirroring for the synchronous, asynchronous. If you want, uh, I will provide the link in a description. Uh, will you go and please watch how to configure the database mirroring. And I got the couple of comments for you know uh, to describe the how the logs you know moving from the principal server to mirror server because this is the internal mechanism. So uh, I just try to explain you guys. Uh, with the based of this diagram. So, uh, hope it is clear how the database mirroring uh, setup is working in a, in case of synchronous, in case of asynchronous and how the logs is moving from uh, principal to mirror server in a both case like asynchronous and asynchronous and what is the role for the witness server we, we got, uh, and the, you know what is the internal entire setup mechanism for the database mirroring. Okay, so I I think this diagram is giving the exact view for database mirroring setup in a both case like synchronous and asynchronous. So uh, hope it's cleared. Uh, I just try to explain you in a simple method. Hope you guys will like it. And uh, so that's it for today, guys. Uh, thank you. Uh, if you like this video, please do share uh, and subscribe my channel. Thank you. Cheers. In the next session, I will come with the another topic. Uh, with the another you know uh, uh, like a troubleshoot or maybe a uh, few more questions I will take on a database mirroring and I will describe in my uh, session. So, thank you guys. Cheers.